that I've been invited over here to look at this beautiful home. I'm looking around here and they ask us to see if there's an option that we can uh, plant some vegetable garden and maybe some fruit trees. So let's take a look. Let's go around the corner here and let's go and see what options we have. Now this is a situation where we're actually, this is north and uh, that's west and this is east. So we're taking a distance and let's just throw a, uh, throw a tape on that and see what our width is. And let's see if we have enough sunlight because actually we're looking to see if we have a minimum of uh, six hours of sunlight. So we have about 11 feet here, but my concern is, is this high wall up here you probably won't get sunlight until 9 or 10, something like that. And now we're already at 4.30, we have homes over there. So I have a real concern that we can get a garden in here. But let's just look and see what we have here. Now we want to give them out 32, 32 inches because we want these squares to be 16 inches wide. So the best we can actually reach in and work is about 32 inches. So we're going to push out here about uh, 32. There's a line right there at about 20 feet. So now he may have to move this kayak over here. You know, I have some real concerns that you may not have enough light. If we get 20 feet out of here and it'd be a real sad to uh, put this whole garden in and then have it fail. And we could measure the sunlight, but uh, you know, let's go talk to the owner and maybe we'll find out that we don't want to put that here. Maybe put some fruit trees, that might be an option. But let's don't make that decision now. Let's go look at some other options and we'll decide. You know, I'm now looking on the back side. Again, this is north. This is a north wall here. And we have a low, a lot more room here on the south wall and wide open on the west. And now the east side is wide open. Now this is a lot better option here. A lot better option. We have a lot more sunlight. You were going to have eight, ten hours of sunlight a day. It's going to be so much better. Now I'm looking at this. Uh, this uh, what they call a mower edge here. This is artificial turf, I might add, it's beautiful. But here's an option, you know, look at this. That's a great idea. I think that's a lot a better idea because if we free form this in here, right next to this mower edge, that's a long reach. He won't be able to do it, he'll have to, and I know the owner said he wanted a raised bed. Well, there's no hinges here, so he wouldn't be able to reach in. But I think if we use a series of planters, like this decorative pots, you can do a lot with that. Look over here's another one. Now, I know he, I know he's keeping his, his uh, hose in here, but even so, that gives a lot of options. Let me give you an idea. We wouldn't want to, we would not want to fill this all the way up with potting soil. We'll fill it up about, up to about right here, as you can see, uh, with rock. He has plenty of rock here. He can use all that rock. Fill it up with rock, and uh, then we'll put in some window screen on top of the rock. And then the last part we'll fill up with potting soil. You understand the reason why I'm sure. And that is if we put the potting soil right on top of the rock eventually it'll leak down, it'll just make mud. But if we put in the, ro put in the rock, the screen on top of it, then the potting soil, then you only, have, you only need this about this much. Eight inches is about all you need. And you can grow anything you need in that. So that's a good idea. So anyway, if we have a series of pots along here it's amazing what you can do when you don't even have any open soil to grow from. So let's make that option. Let's go talk to the owner and uh, maybe we can make that. Okay, we talked to the owner about his options here and I have a real concern about uh, the sunlight on the other side. So after having seen the pot here and seen these pots over here and more around the corner, beautiful, uh, that's what he decides he wants to do is grow a lot in pots. We can have a lot of decorative pots. And around the side that we first looked at, we're going to save that and put in some fruit trees. So you can grow a lot of fruit trees and vegetables and have a very aesthetically beautiful at the same time and never have a conventional garden. And now you have an edible garden that you can enjoy and still eat.